What's up dudes and dudes to the internet, my name's Anthony. and we are back again for some more Skyrim Special Edition. How you all doing today folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. So you see those dudes that are leaving? I didn't catch you on camera and we're over encumbered so I can't catch them, but they just randomly came up to us to start another quest and say, Hey dude, we're looking for this chick in this town that doesn't belong so we could go and start that quest uh, where she's like hidden in the inn and a bunch of stuff and then we get to kill them and get some beautiful looking armor. But for the most part, I've actually just been working on my smithing and that's why I'm over encumbered is because I just made like tons and tons of different sets of armor and weapons and junk so gonna be able to sell these over at this freak right here and hopefully turn some type of a profit. I don't want to be grinding uh, those resources that much right now, but hey, whatever. And you'll have to excuse if I'm a little bit lower energy today, folks. I am actually pretty sick, unfortunately, but I really, really wanted to play this anyways and uh, record it, so that's exactly what I'm doing because I love this game, man. Like, seriously, I really, really do. Um, so a lot of these ores as well, like the malachite, or malachite, I think, um, I think that's actually tied to light armor and weapons and stuff, which I'm not sure we're going to run into as often. Same with the quil quicksilver ore, I'm pretty sure that's for like light-handed weapons like daggers and junk, so I don't remember why. Oh, that's right. Uh, so I was going to say, so I feel the need to say that it's a useless ore. Quicksilver, I think, can actually be used for jewelry. But the reason why most of those ores are actually useless is because in the skill tree over here in the smithing, there's two different paths. I mean, a couple more since we have the, uh, uh, since we have the different skill tree, right? But if we go to the left, what do we got here? Elven and Chitin. And Dwarven, what? You can create items and choose to the four, okay. This is Scaled Plate and Nordic and Orcish. Glass, Ebony and Stalhrim. Wait a minute. And this is Daedric and Dragonbone and this is Dragonborn Blood into the Fire of One Forge. Forging an item in this forge empowers you, increasing attack damage and critical damage by 15% and reducing attack damage by 15% for 600 seconds. Who cares? Uh, when you activate a grind wheel, oh! Oh, wow, that's actually great! So what this guy did with this mod normally, normally when you go into the smithing, you either go left or right, and you just go to light armor or heavy armor. Now it seems like they made it so that everything is just a universal, you unlock armor, you're gonna unlock the light armor and the heavy armor. Hey, wait a minute, this is the chick. This is the chick, isn't it? Did you know those guys are looking for you? Oh, never mind, it's not you. It's somebody else that looks just like her. It's just wearing like the exact same dress or something, but she's in the inn. I only know because I ran into her like two seconds ago. Um, so anyways, we gotta head on back to the old beautiful Yarl in this Garble's town. Like seriously, what is all of this? Why, why is it so gross and rainy? Ugh. <laughs> But we gotta go turn the quest because we killed a dragon at the end of the last episode. Very, very fun. Very exhilarating. And then today I'm hoping to advance with the companions, the fighters guild a little bit more because I want to get our hands on the werewolf ability. That is still my all-time main goal right now. That hopefully we'll be able to do soon. I don't remember how many quests we actually have to get out of the way before that happens though. Turns out I might be something called Dragonborn. Oh, also off camera, there was a huge shout, and that was actually the Greybeards that are calling us. For those that don't know, as far as the story is concerned, we're like the Dragonborn. We kind of have dragon's blood in our descendants or whatever. And now we're kind of being summoned by these dudes who don't really talk for like thousands of years and stuff. Or something like that. Wait, wait, what is he giving us now? Is he giving us prizes? And yeah, now either way we have to uh, go to visit those dudes. And it's a very, very cool place as far as lore is concerned because there's actually a thousand steps. And it's really, really cool. Okay, so we could get ourselves a secondary companion. Don't know 
Wait, did he say we can take armor or something? I didn't catch that. But I don't know whether or not we can have two companions. We might need a special mod in order to do that, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Where Where is this house, Carl? Where, where are you, you crazy lady? Like, seriously. Oh, there she is waiting at the front door for us. Right? Yeah. Are you going to join my party? I am a Thane. What does that mean? Follow me. I need your help. Looks like you've already got someone with you. Yep. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to definitely go and get the mod that allows us to have more than one party member. Granted, having more than one party member is not necessarily a good thing in all honesty, because then you have 50,000 people following you and you accidentally hit them all the time, or at least I do. Maybe it's not an accident. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, it gets pretty annoying in the late game anyways, having so many companions around you and accidentally beating them up all the time. But we'll probably still do that anyway, just because I think as far as roleplay is concerned, like, that's such a cool idea that we'd be going around and doing a million things with a million people. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, what's going on here? See, you give me a few days, and then I already completely forget what we were doing. There's a bandit out here that we're supposed to slay. That's what's going on. There is actually... Is that actually a dude down there? At the camp? You wait here, Jabrias. I'm going to investigate. Who are you? Oh, look at this. Boop! Thank goodness we don't have to go through the mining animation. Oh, it's a hunter! Oh, so cool, man. I love that. Oh, a novice chest. Well... I mean, do we kill her? Oh, I guess not with her here. Oh, well. <laughs> That's okay. But I do like that we finally got to see. That's the ore mod. Uh, it instantly mines ore for us, which is just fantastic. Like, seriously. Okay, let's see if our horse has the power. Does it have enough horsepower? Yes, it certainly does. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> so, actually, here's a fun thing here. The advantage to having a horse in this game, even in the normal game, but you wouldn't think so. Not many people ride horses in this game because of how slow they usually are. We have a speed mod. Uh, but the advantage to horses is they can climb much steeper areas than we could. Leave my spirit animal alone! No, I killed it! Did we kill the others? And as we're on our horse too, we're actually doing, like tons and tons of extra damage. I, I forget what it is. I think it's like 150 damage or something. <laughs> oh man, we didn't even get to see that. We're, we're doing lots of extra damage when we're on our horse. Why is our horse trying to leave? No, don't eat him. No, no, you can't, Jabrius. You stupid horse. No. No, I need to- there we go. I just needed to grab his garbage. Okay, so you know what we could do? Let's- let's take a quick peek. Is there- hmm. I want to get one of these fast travel points over here, just while we're here. Because we're definitely going to need it a little bit later on. I got to journey around and get rid of this rain, though. Hello, person that has a hood. <gasps> uh, that's, like, new. That's one thing I wondered. So- one of the most killer mods on the older Skyrim was actually one that added a bunch of capes and hoods, hoods and stuff like that. I wonder whether or not they actually ended up adding those to the core game. I seem to think, uh, like I seem to recall reading something like that, but I, I also at the same time wouldn't be surprised if it's not. Oh great, we can't fast travel because there's enemies nearby. All right, well, what needs to be killed? A skeleton? What are you even doing here? Like, <laughs> oh man, I love the skeletons when they just fall apart like that. That's so good. All right, where's some more? Where's more of the undead creatures? Oh, that's already it. Let's also get ourselves some extra health and we should probably start going for smithing as soon as possible. You can create novice steel and bone mold items at the forge or anvil and improve them twice as much. I mean, I guess that's okay, because if we could improve our steel, it could be something worthwhile. But most of all, I really want to start getting in this direction here and get some of the armor as soon as possible. But for right now, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's get ourselves some more damage going on. 
Let, let's take a peek. So where's the one? Great swords targets attack damage. Wait, attacks with the great swords reduce the targets attack damage by 15%. That's actually a very defensive ability. I'm going to grab that. I like that. Ooh. Okay, we gotta go and get down to the Fighter's Guild. Hey! Hey, the Oblivion mod! I didn't even notice. Look, there's an Oblivion gate right in the middle there. Dude, that's so cool. And we're actually running around in town with our horse because of the Open Cities mod. Dude, that is so sick. I didn't even notice that gate there the entire time. All right, where's this idiot? I got to turn in this quest with you. Hey, hey, senpai, senpai, Se Ooh. <gasps> oh yeah, that's like a replica. Oh, when they started doing that, I wish we could just break into there and steal it. Like seriously, no, I didn't say steal. You didn't hear me say that. What the, hey, ghost doors are trying to stop me. That criminal won't bother anyone. Oh, goody. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for more work. Yes, I have something special for you. It's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Where's the Underforge? Blah, 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 blah. What does it mean to be a companion? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. We might become a doge today. We might become a doge. Get out of the way. Achoo! <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I love this game. Seriously. So at the top of the screen, you see how the compass is slowly like kind of dissipating in color. That is actually the indicator to show you that your dragon shout is on a cooldown. So we might actually legit be becoming a werewolf right now. Why, why can't we open this secret door? I don't know, but I'm going to wait for this uggles. Oh yeah, look at this. We are totally going to end up... I'm at the Underforge, you idiot. Yeah, this is totally... Yeah, I know the Underforge. I'm at the Underforge, you moron. It's right there. So yeah, we're totally gonna end up becoming a werewolf today. Oh, dude, that's so good. Hello? Yes, I'm prepared. Yes, yes. What is this place? I'm ready for whatever test is next. I don't care. Just turn me into a werewolf. Just turn me into a werewolf. Do it. I want to turn to the... I want to turn to the doge. Oh, yes. <gasps> You look even more beautiful than you used to. Like, seriously. I love the way that they look. Seriously! Dude, transform me! We do this in secret because Codlack is too busy trying to throw away Yeah, I don't care. I don't care that he's trying to throw away his ugly's gift, okay? I want to transform you weird football man with a broken eye. Hey, we both have that in common, our characters. We take matter what? Okay, shut up now. Yes, I want to turn into a werewolf. I love how you just gave me it. Like, after the third quest, I mean, I barely even know you guys, and you already trust me to turn into a werewolf. Yup, I want to turn into a werewolf. I want to turn into a werewolf. What's he doing? What is he doing? He better not be attacking her. Dude. Uh. What? <laughs> I like how it just... Like, okay. Mmm, delicious. Uh, ew, wait, it was poison! Wait, what is going on? We're supposed to get out of here, right? Alright, run! Run, beast man! Run! Why'd you stop running? <laughs> oh man, I'm getting passed out just doing that. Alright, we gotta get out of here. See, this is why the werewolf is the best. He's so beautiful. No, I don't want to transform in town. What just happened? What the? I don't remember that part of the quest. Normally, I thought it always just threw us right out here with this chick, but I, I guess they added just some extra little, you know, you transform into a werewolf, you get to play for a few seconds, and then you transform, uh, teleport back out here. Okay. Yeah, I have met the silver hand before. I don't care, I wanna go kill him though. Yes, please. Oh, yes, we get to be a werewolf. That is so sick. Seriously. Cure the werewolf hunters. I am a werewolf now. Is there a cure? I don't want to cure. Can you meet, train me in archery? <laughs> That's like so inappropriate. Okay, where is this quest? Not the golden claw. We can actually do that one just so we can go back. The silver hand. Kill the werewolf hunters. They are to our left. I'm going to wait till it's daytime too. 
And now, thank goodness, we actually have the mod where we can transform into a werewolf as often, oh, something's happening to me. I'm turning doge. I am the Doge! I am the Doge! Do -do 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 you guys are dead! Look at this! They didn't expect this to happen! They're just hanging out in here and then suddenly... Eee! Hello! I'm gonna eat your faces! <laughs> no, but seriously, that is so sick! Oh, this is awesome! I, I, I They have heads of werewolves around, okay. That's okay. That doesn't matter to me because we're going to be able to defeat them. No problem. I mean, it's a little bit claustrophobic in here. Yes! Oh, the doge. We can eat them too and get ourselves some wolf perks. Yes! Yes. Now, granted, this is already uh, taking a little bit too long to eat them. So we're definitely going to have to uh, swap that out. Bloodlust extended. That's right, because the werewolf ability only lasts so long, right? No, what'd they do to you, my doge brother? He's just hanging out. Get it? Because he was just holding on to stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can find some bad ones. Now, the thing about the werewolf form is timing. Oh, did they change it so we can eat beasts? No, we can't. But the timing is the key. Because if you don't... That was close. Because if you don't do the one, two, back and forth like this, this is actually the fastest way to attack is the werewolf. And you gotta be very, very careful about the timing. Because if you don't do it properly, he'll end up stopping and then you're not gonna be able to do anything. Okay, so are we getting perk progress increased? We got our first perk. Let's check it out. I want to see, because we have another mod that changed the perks as well for the werewolf. So we got, uh, oh, this is the first one. Do 25% more damage as the werewolf. Sounds good to me. That sounds fantastic. And we'll go down and look at those other perks once we actually get to them. But as for right now, this guy's going down. Yes! Nom 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 nom. Oh, he's kissing her. Ew, he's kissing her on the neck. Gross. Um, I'm going to eat this while this other Uggles is attacking me. Stop adjusting yourself on my legs, you stupid cat. I'm trying to do things. He's beautiful, but he's sick right now, so he's hanging out on me all day, and it's making it difficult to record because I have to sit like so stiff. Okay, where's more badness? Oop, I almost missed that door. Now, that's the other thing, too, is I'm gonna have to go... Okay, caught on a chair. Run! I'm gonna have to go through here. That is actually beautiful. Uppercut! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through here and uh, check all of their bodies for all the goodums. But for right now, the biggest thing that I want to do is get ourselves even more wolf perks. Because we're going to have to do a lot of eating. And once I end up getting a little bit more of the adventure, like just of the world and stuff like that, kind of unlocked. And we kind of progress a little bit further into the game. So that, you know, we've kind of experienced a lot of things for the first time on camera. Like, for example, I'm going to be definitely, for something like this especially, I'm going to grind up my werewolf abilities. Uh, probably do a lot of that off camera. Just because it's going to take a long time to max out. Was that guy supposed to be the boss or no? I don't think that he was. We can't actually go through that door though. We have to go down here. Man, I am definitely going to have to scrounge this dungeon off camera though because there is a bit too much to this place. Oh, this is where the boss is. Yep, this is where the boss is. That guy's actually tough too because he has like silver swords and stuff. Oh my goodness, I don't know what that weird combo is that we were doing, but it was beautiful. <laughs> Yes! Oh, man! He's so delicious, too. Yeah. I like it. No, seriously, though, this is just... That was just amazing. We actually got pretty close to getting our butts kicked from that guy, too. Like, wowie zowie. Is there a secret? Like, yeah, there actually still is some random people around. Now, that chest beside us is, as well, I'm expecting, is probably gonna be some super secret, really, really good stuff. 
I don't know what our NPC partner is doing. I think there's an enemy through this door. So let's try and see if we can go through here and wreck their face. I want to kind of complete this dungeon right now just as quick as possible here. Uh, and then we'll end up going through it and getting all the treasure. Okay, I don't know where that secret enemy is. Oh well. The, I mean, I'm seeing it on our map and stuff, but it doesn't seem like it's actually around. So if we... Oh, okay, so I was going to say if we press right bumper, can we deactivate our roar? But no, we cannot. We actually have to wait for it to uh, go away. Ooh! Ooh! Thank you, devs! In the normal game, it was stupid because whenever you would come out of your werewolf form, your character would be naked and you would have to re-equip all your armor. Now it seems like he just keeps it on. Maybe that was something that ended up getting patched a long time ago anyways, but in the normal version of Skyrim that I played, uh-uh, that never ended up happening. So that is actually a very, very welcome change because otherwise that was a lot of wasted time for that, you know? What's our first target? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm already a werewolf, so I honestly don't really care. Anyways, what I want to definitely do on camera here, because otherwise I'm going to have to go through this dungeon, I want to see all this guy's armor. I love the way that the steel armor looks. I really do. Ooh, steel cuffed boots, huh? They actually give us five more armor, too. Those give us five more armor as well. An orcish greatsword. Let's grab that one because it will be better than our hammer just because of the passive buff that we get from it now, right? And then we could wear this helmet. I don't want to, though, because I love our beautiful Dragonborn helmet. I don't want to wear that other one. I need to always grab all of the ore for sure. Lock picks, that's something that's very welcome. I gotta watch out, though, because our inventory is starting to get real full lately. Uh, scrolls. Now, I know that a lot of these items as well would actually be very much worth their weight in gold, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. An imperial bow? I don't know if I've ever even seen that before. Ooh. That's worth its weight in gold for sure. An iron sword, and that is definitely worth it. I gotta go visit a mage so that I can drop all my stuff off too. Hey! Wait, why is he here? This is our friend from the Fighters Guild. Why is he here and why is he dead? <laughs> like, what happened to my Doge brother? I want to cry. I'm going to take the werewolf stuff. I'm, I'm taking the armor. Oh, yeah. Look, well, man, we look so sick now. Look at that. Oh, yeah, dude. Seriously. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rearrange a bunch of my items here. Orcish bow and a bunch of iron junk. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm going to go through most of this dungeon myself here, folks. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we got a heck of a haul out of all of that stuff, folks. I ended up actually picking a master lock. Would have got that on camera, but unfortunately this game doesn't really play in borderless windowed mode, so it's actually a little bit difficult for me to record it because I have to alt-tab out every time I want to uh, start recording my microphone and stuff. But anyways, what the? Who are you? I'll burn your face, man. Seriously. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, ended up picking a master lot, going through a whole bunch of other stuff, and needless to say, we got a whole bunch of items clogging up our inventory right now that, I mean, it's worth it, you know, because we're gonna be rich, that's for sure. Burn! It's cool, it's kind of like we're blowing our torch on them. He's asleep forever. Good. <laughs> But still, very, very cool dungeon nonetheless. And, I mean, I really got to find a merchant to sell a lot of these goodies to. Because otherwise, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be stuck here for quite some time. Retrieve the fragments of war. Duh. Oh. Well, you know what? We already transformed into a werewolf. So, honestly, who cares? We don't need any of that other stuff anymore. Let's grab ourselves our beautiful sword. And... Yeah, you know what? Let's just go let's go exploring for a little bit here before we call it a day. I just want to go check this part out over right over here cuz I'm pretty sure this is where those uh Oh, I forget the name of these creatures. It's it's always like a nature a nature attack. <laughs> that always happens over here, right? Those tree characters? Oh. 
This was worth, this was worth visiting. Like, really, this is so beautiful. I love it. And there's a mud crab over here that we can pick its eyes out. Hey, come here. There you go. You like the way it feels, huh? That one was a bigger one. Was it? I wonder if they ever have, ooh. Okay. But the giant, like, remember the mud crab merchant from Morrowind? Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. You're evil, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're evil. You're very evil. Because we can't rest with them here. Okay, is there any more uggles around, or is it just that one person? No, there's one over here. There's a few over here. Okay, let's see. Dip, 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 dip. Dip, 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 dip. Okay, it didn't work. Run! Oh, that didn't work either. Die, you weird vampire. You can't infect me. I'm all powerful right now. I have transformed into a werewolf. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I didn't need to use my werewolf powers on you, huh? Ooh. Well, we can get ourselves... We can't carry it, though. The vampire armor, that's actually really expensive gear. I want to collect some of the vampire armor. That's the real bottom line, because it looks beautiful. Seriously. Even if we never end up getting to use it. Vampire boots? Ugh. I mean, I have to organize my inventory again. Like, seriously, I just keep having to drop stuff because we keep just finding it all. Yeah, vampire boots, okay. Novice robes are too good and cool. There's probably tons and tons of potions that we could end up just using just to get rid of them because these are like one pound each, right? Yeah, so these, who cares? Most of these other ones so far are really, really good. That one's worth money is the real bottom line. These ones, we don't need any of those. We can just dump all those. And then let's see if there's any treasure in here that's worth mentioning. Just before we call it for today's episode, everybody. I don't think so, though. And I don't think there's any more to this spot. I do see that out. Well, there was a treasure bag up there that I can't really reach. Ooh. Hello, weirdo. What do you got on you? You got a book. And not really much else. Just a bunch of other stuff that's going to take up all my inventory, right? Oh, wow, those are worth it in gold, though, aren't they? That's worth it as well. Jeez Louise. Ugh. Well, I mean, I have to sort my inventory, but we're going to call it here for today, everybody. After we open this chest and see what we get out of here. Steel horn helmet. That's an upgrade. I'll take that one over a dragonborn helmet. It's beautiful enough. Ooh, there's too many items here, man. There's too much good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, enchanted vampire armor. Ooh, we'll take that one over the normal one for sure. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to definitely organize my inventory. But either way, thanks for watching, folks. It's all the time we have for today. I know we went a little bit, well, I was going to say overtime, but these episodes in general are just kind of long anyways. But hope you have a fantastic day. Be sure to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign on and stay epic, everybody. Bye.